What's up guys? So today we're gonna give you a little breeding update. Um, we have a surprise. So this here is our girl Rogue. She's a female custard gecko. We picked up we picked her up at the Reptile Expo in McQueenie, Texas this weekend. And so I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on her and a little update on our breeding project that we're gonna be starting. Um, and also I'm gonna show you how we set up our bins for our geckos, um, tub style, to so save money. This is a cheap enclosure you can get, you can do, so that you can get a nice gecko and you don't have to worry about dropping a ton of cash. So, Rogue here was um, bred by Anthony Caponetto. He's the same person I bought all my geckos from. And we bought her from a guy who is Easy Exotics. And she is a Harlequin. Um, and she's got the Dalmatian trait. You can see she has her black spots. She doesn't have a lot of them, but she does have some. So that's a nice little trait. And also you can see these portholes, these little white dots here, especially on this side of her. You can see them really well and she's kind of a porker. Um, but anyway, those portholes are gonna be great because with Vader, my male, he's a full pinstripe and he's got a quad stripe going on. So that gene usually will pull out. <laughs> she jumps onto the camera, that's so funny. Um, that gene will usually pull out the quad stripes from the bait on the babies So she's got a lot of good genes for her. She's not a soft scale Vader is though. So the babies will be soft scales um, And the thing is is that he was only feeding her crickets before so I was a little bit worried about her I was thinking it was gonna be hard to get her eating on the crested gecko diet. We use Pangea um, here and uh, I showed her how to eat Pangea and look at that belly she ate an entire Gatorade cap in like five minutes after we got her eating the Pangea off of a popsicle stick. So anyways, this is Rogue and she's gonna be paired up with Vader probably in the next couple weeks. So we're probably gonna be expecting her first set of eggs, which will most likely be infertiles just because they're her first eggs um, in about two and a half, three months. From now, we should get her first set of eggs and then from there, um, they produce eggs every month for the most part and they usually take a few months off but so if you want to come over here we're going to go ahead and show y'all our tub setup that we have for rogue so right here is just um simple setup we have some fake plants that when we missed it down to get the water droplets from um, we use these pipe insulation tubes um you can get these they're at selling at home depot they're only um a couple bucks get them and you cut them to size and we stick the fake plants in there so they just hang uh this is her little food bowl it's just a gatorade cap she, see she ate another half of it we've only had her for a few days she eats like crazy and we have a water dish in here of course it's buried um but we keep a water dish with all of our geckos in case they just drink the, they just need water which they don't because we miss them down all the time so they're always good and then we have a little moss bowl in here um she had that in her uh, deli cup whenever I bought her so I put it in here just to help hold warm humidity and then today we made her a little moist box um, these are cocoa fibers so those cocoa fibers are just um, eco earth we bought the bricks from Petco and just mix it with water and then you want to make it to where it's damp enough to form a ball but not so damp that when you squeeze it water comes gushing out and we just cut a hole in the lid for her to go in and out of um, and she really likes it, that's actually where I got her out of, so she was a little bit dirty before the video. Um, but yeah guys, and then we have, we have th I have three holes drilled on um, both sides of the cage on the, on every corner. So there's 12 holes drilled total for airflow, and it holds humidity really well. And this humid hide is going to help her shed, and this is also where she's going to be laying her eggs whenever she has them. So this is Rogue, and we're going to be having... We look forward to having her um, be bred by Vader and have producing some great babies for y'all. So just keep watching. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see. And don't forget about our giveaway. We're going to be giving away that Pangea still. And the more subscribers we get, guys, the better giveaways we can do. We just got to get there. So thank you for watching and y'all have a great rest of y'all's day.